Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Today's church day, and I will be heading to Calvary Chapel. Looking forward to creating the church family that I left behind that I so much love and miss. But I'm happy to be here in South Florida with my parents. It's amazing the kind of healing that's taking place between my mother and I. We're just we're bonding more than ever. And that's just such a beautiful thing and, and such an important thing. People don't realize how important family is. We go to chase our needs, our dreams, and forget that we leave those behind that really and truly love us and need us. At the end, what is it that we end up gathering from this so-called adventure, journey, whatever it is, that sabbatical, finding self, whatever we want to call it. And it's the same concept. You know, we leave God to chase our dark desires because kid yourself not, it is a dark desire. When you go changing your body, you're changing God's design. When you go to have a relationship with individuals of your same sex, you're going against God's design. All you have to do is look at what God's design is and understand his world to understand that what you're doing is wrong. You know, many people try to peg me in a box. They call me angry. They lie about me. <clears throat> they do all sorts of different things that makes them look and feel better. But at the end, it's all based on their own inability to be happy themselves. And because they're being convicted, they have nothing else better to do than to talk about me, spread lies, try to figure me out, you know? And it's like, you guys want to ask me a question? I'll be more than happy to answer as long as you do it respectfully. I won't allow people on my channel and go in with ulterior motives. They're going to stir up the pot. Yes, you will be blocked and censored. But I will not censor you. If you have a genuine request, if you if you coming from a heart space, not from a dark space. People are having a hard time trying to understand my whole detransition. And that is very easy. God. God is who has allowed me to see who I truly am. And it just didn't happen overnight. You know, these things gradually take place in our lives, situations, relationships that we're in that allow us to see what really matters, what really is, and what really isn't. This whole LGBT agenda is all based on looks and vanity. And that's the comments that I can continue to hear from people. Well, you look better as a guy. Your face was fuller. You're this, that, and the other. <clears throat> I was on synthetic hormones for 16 years. Anytime anybody takes any type of steroid, whether it's cortisol, steroid, regular steroid, you get a moon face, you start to fill in. It is unnatural. We're not meant to take these things and kid yourself not. Do the research. See all the type of lawsuits that have been on HRT, both for women and men. It's synthetic. Synthetic does not belong in your body. But don't believe me. Please do your homework or wait for a few years to see the effects on your own body. I was lucky that nothing really happened to me because of my healthy eating, my healthy lifestyle. And yes, there have been certain things that have taken place, but not to the point where I'll need to be hospitalized or anything like that because I've always done damage control. And that's important. That's very important to, uh, to be able to take care of yourself, to be able to limit what you put in your body. There's another rumor going on that I'm a very anxious and angry and depressed person absolutely all lies. I mean, there's not one person on this planet that doesn't have some sort of depressed day, you know, or, or becomes anxious for whatever reason. I personally don't like being around a lot of people. And like me, there are many people that way. We're empath, we're very sensitive individuals that pick up on things. And so excessive amount of noises, excessive amount of people, it's not comfortable, but it doesn't mean that I can't do it. I've done it. I mean, I've appeared on national television. I've appeared on talk shows. I've appeared on all sorts of different things. And you didn't see me sweating or do anything crazy. Oh, and by the way, 
you know, the, the rumor that I'm doing all this for money that I did all the first, I transitioned for money and now I'm detransitioning for money. Um, are you, are you people like working with some sort of gray matters in your head or is it all, you know, just cirrhosis? Because number one, I actually lost money when I transitioned. I had a very thriving business as Maritza, very thriving business, bodies under construction. And when I started to transition back in 2003, there was hardly anybody doing this. So, hmm, what thought did I have that I was going to end up being on the talk show? I had no idea. Okay. And as far as detransitioning, you think that there's like tons of money in doing that writing book. I've wrote a book before. I've written many books on health and different things of that nature. Book writing does not make you a lot of money. It makes the publisher money, but not the writer. So it's like before you guys start speaking and spewing stuff out of you know where, get a little information because you're sounding very ignorant and bitter, bitter. I'm not the bitter person here. I am the most happiest person right now. I am free from drama from the marriage that I lived in, that all they've done all throughout this time is try to villainize me to make themselves look better. But they forget that they were the ones who started the campaign against the trans community. Because if you guys recall and you go back in history and you, everything's in my YouTube channel, I was never anti-trans. I became anti-trans because of the genius that I was married to. And I'm being facetious here because they started talking about all sorts of stuff and I wanted to back them up. So that's where the whole trans hate started. Not because of me, but then as I started getting into it and I started seeing and I started like really opening my eyes or should I say God started opening my eyes. Maybe God brought this individual in my life to number one, bring me the word of God. Cause I, I didn't believe in, in Christianity, but they were fully Christian and they alongside with me, I didn't put a gun on the head were the ones talking against the trans community. So, you know, everyone's trying to paint me as a villain and I've stayed pretty quiet all along, but I want people to realize and put two and two together and understand what is actually going on here. I was saved by the grace of God. I was a massive trans advocate and no, not for the money. They don't pay you to go on talk shows. Okay. You don't make, actually I lost money because every time I had to go or fly somewhere, I would have to close my business down and lose money. So no, you don't get rich by being an advocate. And no, you don't get rich by being an advocate for God. You do it. You know what? The richness is a place in heaven a place next to father. And through all these years that I've been agnostic, that I've been my, my own guru or whatever else, I haven't felt the peace and the love that I feel in my heart right now and the purpose because I know without a shadow of a doubt that I'm on the right path for the first time in my life. I am happy. I don't have to deal with the individual that I lived with for years who totally demonizes me. And I won't even do that to them. You know why? Because I have some class. You don't sit there and demonize a person that you live with supposedly love or loved for many years just to make yourself look better, just to calm your own guilt. So I don't care what all the clonies that follow them think about me. You guys are just as mad as the person that's talking bad about me. Okay. So save yourself the hassle. Do not watch my videos. My videos have nothing there for you unless you're planning to come to God. And if you're planning to come to God, then I welcome you. Then I welcome you to experience the same miracle that I've experienced in my life. I'm not angry. I'm just Cuban and passionate. Yes, I have my app from the Bible read to me. And you know what? I put that post up on Facebook. And you know how many people prefer being read to than to reading? Because that's how it was meant to be. So, you know, make fun of me all you want. Have a field day. I've personally 
have moved way beyond that relationship. There's not even a thought in my mind and my advocacy, stop being so narcissistic and thinking it's all about you. It's not, it's about the entire LGBT, which I love because if I didn't love them, I wouldn't care where their soul is heading. We Christians love all of you in the LGBT community. Although you may not look at it as love because you want to be able to do what you want to do, but it is love nonetheless. Tough love at times. You don't allow your child to play with fire or with knives because you know they're going to get burnt or cut. The same concept. But, you know, I could only do so much. I plant seeds. You don't want to have those seeds sprout and grow. That's up to you. Father is the one that's going to judge you. And by the way, we are entitled to judge as long as we judge righteously and we're not being hypocritical. So stop using that line on everyone. I don't care what all of you that are not God loving folks think of me. So you could say what you want. You could add your craziness. You could, you know, it, it's like, I don't care. And every time you try to find a hole and to try to get in, and there are many of you that are out there that are obsessed with me. There's a very unhealthy obsession at this point. I don't care what you think or say. The only one that matters to me is father. What he thinks and what he says, that I care about. Everything else, I could care less. I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. I'm going to continue to educate as I'm educating. As long as Father is asking me to do this, I will do this. I will bring more people on my show that would show their testimony and show the glory to Father. You don't like it, you don't have to watch. Bottom line. It's done out of love, not hate. It's done because I care. And it's done because it's important for there to be two voices. You don't have the monopoly on life. So on that note, I wish you guys a beautiful and wonderful Sunday. I am happy. I am extremely, extremely glad that that relationship ended. There's no bitterness. I wouldn't want to be, I wouldn't want to be with that person. We broke up the first time and although they continue to think it's their doing, I couldn't deal with the drama anymore. I couldn't deal with the depression anymore. I couldn't deal with the way they felt about their life and what happened within their family dynamic. Okay. I couldn't deal with it anymore. I tried desperately, but I gave up. I stopped being in love a long time ago. And especially when God entered my heart that I knew that relationship was tainted and it was wrong. So in my opinion, it never happened. So I don't know how many more dead horses you're going to keep beating, how many more videos you're going to keep trying to make about me. It's over. It's done. Go live your life. And I pray that you find the true meaning of life and happiness. And then you start following father's commands. Love you guys. But remember to always love yourselves too. I had to make that video. I'm sorry. I mean, I've been told not to by several people, but you know what? I can't sit there and hold on to things inside of me and allow people to talk badly and lies about me. And however they see it in their heads, because that's what happens. People see things in their heads and they see it as truth. That's up to them. But I know who I am and I know who I'm not. And I'm at peace for the first time in my life. And that is what I have to say about that. Take care, guys. Love you. But remember to always love yourselves, too. Bye-bye.